Now starting with next type of solid, which is pyramid. As I said earlier, prism and cylinder are asked for two stages, but pyramid will be asked for three stages. So this particular problem will carry 15 marks. So we will start with the first problem. A pentagonal pyramid of 28 mm age of base and 60 mm length of axis has a 28 mm age on the HP. The axis is inclined at 35 degree to the HP and 45 degree to the VP. Draw the projections. This question was asked in May 15 for 15 marks since it is a three stage problem. Now here uh, one of the base age of that pentagonal pyramid is kept on in the HP. Then the, the inclination with both the planes HP as well as VP are given. So one inclination will be used in second stage and other inclination will be used in third stage. So in first stage since one of the base age is on the HP, so in first stage we will assume that the entire base is lying on the HP with one of the base age perpendicular to XY line and on the right hand side. So we will start with first stage. So first drawing the reference line. We'll drop a perpendicular to draw one of the base H perpendicular to XY and keeping that H on the right hand side. So on this perpendicular line, we'll mark base H 28 mm. Now, we, as we know, the angle for pentagon is 108. We will measure both uh, angles on both the sides. Be careful while measuring the angles. 108 and also on this side, 108. I will both will mark 28 mm ages on these two inclinations. We have already done this in previous problems for prism. So you should know how to draw the pentagon. This is one of the case of keeping the base. In some of the cases you need to keep the corner on right hand side and base which will come on left hand side. But here as per the requirement of this problem we need to keep the base edge on right hand side because one of the base edge is given in the HP. Now I will complete the pentagon. Obviously, since the entire base is kept on the HP, it will be seen as a true shape, which is this pentagon in top view. So that's why we are drawing it below XY line. Now, in case of prism, we give two notations at each corner, but here it is a case of pyramid. So it will have only one base which is a bottom and at the top it will have a apex that is a single point from which the axis will pause and it will meet the center of the base. So here in top view I will uh, I'm going to see the apex as the center of this pentagon. So for that I need to mark the apex that is vertex of the pyramid. So for that the procedure is mark the midpoint of any two sides. and join it with the opposite corner. Okay. 
वेल पॉइंट इज फोर्टीन सेंट फोर्टीन एम एम सो आफ्टर ज्वाइनिंग विद द अपोजिट कॉर्नर विल बी एबल टू लोकेट द सेंटर ऑफ दिस पेंटागोनल बेस तो दिस गिव मी द वर्टेक्स ओके नाउ सिंस इट इज अ पिरामिड आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू सी टू बेसिस coinciding with each other so i'll denote only by one notations at each corner so i'll denote by 1 2 3 4 and 5 but in case of prism we had vertical edges that's why two bases are coinciding but here in case of pyramid will be having slant edges and those slant edges will appear as apparent edges in top view so For marking those slant edges, I need to join each corner with the apex, which is the center of the pentagon. So be careful when it is a pyramid, because many of the students forget to draw these slant edges, and those should be also made dark. So only one base and slant edges in case of pyramid. So we have shown only one notation, and then we'll show for axis that is O. <coughs> Now we'll draw the corresponding front view. Now in case of prism, we got a rectangular front view, but here we'll get triangular front view. So we need to first just extend the axis. No need to extend all the corners up to axis height. Here the length of the axis is 60 mm. So I'll first mark 60 mm on this line. So this marks the apex. So I'll denote it by O dash, and again here O dash. Now I need to project the other corners only up to the x y line, and not up to the axis side. So I'll project. the remaining corner 3 4 is already projected obviously 2 and the projector from 2 and 5 will coincide i need to project only up to xy then from 1 only up to xy now i'll give the corresponding notation as 1 dash because this line will give me the base for pyramid in the front view which is 1 2 3 4 5 so corresponding notations will be 2 dash comma 5 dash and 3 dash comma 4 dash. So now I need to show the slant edges. So I need to join each corner with the apex. So boundary should be dark. So I'm marking the outer slant edges with dark. Obviously base will be entirely dark. Again lying on the boundary. This straight line is nothing but the base for pentagon. Again. From two and five, two dash and five dash, there will be two slant edges. Slant edge from five will not be visible to the observer when he is looking from this direction, but slant edge from two will be visible. So we'll give the preference. Obviously, they, those two slant edges are going to coincide. So we'll go. We'll give the preference for visible lines, and then apex will uh, that axis will be shown by long dash and short dash. So this completes the first stage. In addition to this, we can show the dimensions. So showing the base edge of pentagon, which is 28 mm, and then we can also show the axis height in front view, which is 60 mm. Now this completes the first stage. Now in second stage, since we need to redraw the front view as it is, but the condition for redrawing is the axis is inclined at 35 degree to the HP. Because for redrawing front view, we need condition with the HP only. So if uh, if I 
want to make this axis o dash o dash incline at 30 degree to the 35 degree to the hp but while may, uh, doing that that one of the base edge should remain in hp that uh, that base edge we have kept on the right hand side is 3 dash 4 dash which is appearing as a single point in front view so i should keep the 3 dash 4 dash still on xy line and then i need to rotate this o dash uh, that axis but since we have to start from 3 dash 4 dash and not o dash so with 3 dash and 4 dash i can only start with the base and as a, uh, as we have done in previous cases the relation between the axis and the base is they are perpendicular so if axis is making angle 35 degrees so base will make angle 90 minus 35 which is giving me uh, 55 degrees so with 3 dash and 4 dash it will mark an angle of 55 degree so obviously if base is making 30, uh, 55 degree then axis will automatically make the angle of 35 degrees so on this line I will mark this base take the divisions from the front view as it is so first I will mark the entire length of the base Then I will mark the axis position and let the remaining 2 dash and 5 dash. Okay. Now I will just show the notations as it is. Then 1 dash. Now I need to draw a perpendicular from O dash to mark the axis. And on this perpendicular, I need to mark the axis length which is 60 mm. So that will give me the apex point. So on this axis, I will mark 60 mm length. That will give me the apex. Now, I need to join the remaining slant edges with each corner and apex. with the same visibility as that in case of first stage and again axis will be shown by long dash and short dash now corresponding to this front view we need to complete the top view in second stage so drop the projectors from front view and then from top view projector should be light then horizontal projectors from top view those will be parallel to xy line then from 4 then 1 and finally 2 ok now we will mark the corresponding points in top view so 1 dash and 1 then 2 dash and 2 5 dash and 5 then 4 dash 3 dash and 4 so 3 and 4 and then apex O. Now for visibility, the first rule is the edges lying on the boundary are dark. So from here, I can join 1 to 2 by dark line since it is lying on the boundary. Then 1 to 5. Now remaining base edges 2, 3, 3, 4 and 4, 5. For deciding the visibility, I need to see the observer position 
for observer the part above this line is entirely visible that means this entire base which is 1 2 3 4 5 is not visible to the observer but out of the five edges only two edges are lying on the boundary so remaining edges i should make dotted so the remaining edges 4 to 5 3 to 4 are not visible to the observer and 2 to 3 so i am making them hidden okay now after drawing the base we'll move to the slant edges that means joining each corner with the apex so there also we need to see the visibility so first starting with 1 dash o dash it is the nearest slant edge uh, for the observer so that will be visible to the observer so i'll mark that edge o to 1 dark then 3 dash 4 dash two, uh, up to o dash these two slant edges are coinciding but they are farthest from the observer so they are not visible to the observer so 3 to o and 4 to o will be marked hidden now the remaining two edges 2 to o and 5 to o are obviously lying on the boundary so i'll make them dark Now the last thing remaining is marking the axis. Here the axis is O to O, that should be shown by long dash and short dash. But already one to O, the slant edge is coinciding with the axis, so preference will be given to the dark edge. Now we'll move to the third stage. Before that, I'll show this angle, which is 35 degree, angle made by the axis. Now remember those angles made with the HP and VP by the axis are the true inclination. That means angle made by the true length of the axis with HP and VP. So theta is 35 degree. So in front view, whatever is the axis length, we have tilted at 35 degree is nothing but the true length. Okay. Again, this 45 degree, which will be used for third stage, that angle made with the VP. will be applicable for only true length but now after redrawing the top view that uh, axis length has shortened that means it is a apparent view and not the true uh, true length so in that case i need to find the apparent angle beta if we compare with the projections of lines this 45 degree is nothing but the true inclination with the vp that notation is 5 okay but this is for true length but here after drawing the top view in second stage we need to redraw this top view again for uh, third stage and there we can't use this phi directly because this is for the true length and we need to redraw the apparent length so i need to find the apparent angle beta so for that the procedure is first i'll mark this angle phi 45 degree here nothing is said about um, how should i tilt this top view because nothing is said about the apex whether it is nearer to the observer away from the observer so i can tilt at any position means i can tilt the apex on this side or either on the upward side so i'll first take the true length that is uh, o dash to o dash from this view front view and i'll mark the true length on this true inclination here this angle is 5 which is 45 degree so i'll first randomly suppose i'm denoting this as apex o dash so i'll first randomly mark the true length o dash o dash but now i need to mark the apparent length so i need to find beta which is the apparent angle so for that I 
I should draw the locus through one of the axis point. So suppose this proje the procedure we have already done in projections of lines. Now I'll take the apparent length from the top view, which we need to redraw. And with this as a center, I'll cut the arc on this locus to get the actual position for apex. This is not bit dash, so I can just say O1. Now this inclination with the XY line, if I produce this, this will give me the actual apparent inclination. Now with this O and O, which is the apparent axis length, I will redraw this entire top view. For doing that, I will first redraw this rectangle as it is at this inclined um, on this inclined axis. So for that, I will mark this extra length beyond the axis length, which is O1. And now, to draw the rectangle, I will draw the project uh, perpendicular. So, I will first redraw that rectangle. Then passing through O. This point we have marked as 1. Now, I will take this distance to mark boundary of the rectangle. And just draw the parallel line to the axis line. Now, this entire top view will lie within this rectangle. So, so for that, now to mark this pipe from this corner, I will take this much distance. So from here, I can mark this point 5. This will give me 5. And similarly for 2, I will take the same distance. Now, the remaining points are 3 and 4. So for that, from this corner, I take this much distance to mark two lines parallel to the axis line on which I am going to get 3 and 4. Now again, for 3 and 4, I need to measure this distance. And I have to draw a parallel line to the width of the rectangle. So here, I can locate 4 and 3 now. Now I will redraw the top view with same visibility with 1 to 2 dark 1 to 5 dark then remaining 3 edges dotted and then after drawing the base we will join with the apex 
with the same visibility 2 to 5 dark then 5 to sorry 0 to 2 dark 0 to 5 dark then 0 to 1 dark then 0 to 4 dotted and 0 to 3 again dotted Now this completes the redrawing uh, step of top view. So we will now complete the final view which is the required answer by usual methods dropping the projectors from each corner. Again, the apex, sorry, axis point. Then project is from the front view. here uh, the projectors from 1 and 3 are almost coinciding so be careful while marking the points so from projectors from 2 then 2 dash then 5 dash and 5 then 1 and 1 dash 3 and 3 dash so we are marking in front view so notations are with dash then 4 here now we need to mark the center of the base so I will get 4 dash and then the apex at the top 4 dash Okay. So now again for visibility I need to first decide the direction of observer then first rule is edges lying on the boundary should be dark so I will make those edges dark so 2, two, two dash to 3 dash then 3 dash to 4 dash should be dark then if you see from the observer that each slant edge O to 2 is nearer to the observer then it should be dark and 1 dash 2 dash is also on the boundary The slant edge 1 dash O is also making a boundary so it should be again dark. Again O dash to 4 dash. The slant edge O dash to 4 dash is on the boundary so it should be dark. Now 1 to 5 is farthest from, from the observer so it should be 1 dash to 5 dash should be light uh, sorry dotted then 4 to 5 this is again dotted and obviously from one corner if I am getting two edges dotted then third should be obviously again dotted Then the remaining two slant edges that is 3 dash to O dash and then O dash to 2 dash. O dash to 2 dash is obviously uh, nearest to the observer. So O dash to 2 dash will be a dark line. And 
and again the remaining 2 dash to 3 dash is again dark blue. So now marking the axis O dash to O dash by long dash and short dash. Now for this particular solution we have tilted with the apex nearer to the observer. The same problem can be solved with the apex away from the observer that means nearer to XY line. So both solutions will be right. We have also shown the uh, angles theta and Five. Remember uh, that 45 degree is the true inclination. So from that true inclination, we have to calculate beta first, then redraw the top view to get the final answer. So this completes the solution for this problem.